In the fourth chapter of the book of Ruth, a baby is born. And the story of the mother and grandmother had been very bleak up to this point in their life. Things took an incredible turnaround with the marriage and a baby. And God showed unexpected grace through that baby and the happenings surrounding his birth. And that baby became one of the men in the line of Jesus. Babies bring all kinds of grace into our lives. When new parents are expecting their first child, they're thrilled with preparing for the child, picking names. Grandparents are thrilled. Everybody is dreaming of what they're going to do with this baby. They're going to dress it up, take it for walks, teach it to talk. Someday, Papa's going to teach it to fish, how to ski. Plans are made. And then sometimes life throws a curveball. And that curveball happened to one beautiful family about six months ago. Six months ago today, baby Abby was born. And she was born into a family, her parents' first child, her grandparents' first grandparent, her grandchild, with all the hopes and expectations that we all have. But Abby came early, very early. Abby weighed just a little bit more than this when she was born. She was 12 inches long, but she weighed just a little bit more than this. She weighed 19 ounces. This tiny little bundle from heaven with severely underdeveloped lungs and a host of other health problems due to her immaturity at birth entered the world fighting, kicking, and screaming, letting everyone around her know that she wasn't going to take this laying down and that she was here to fight. And fight she has. In the last six months, Abby has faced hurdle after hurdle. I don't know how many times we thought this might be the time Abby doesn't make it through a crisis. And yet time after time, God's unexpected grace not only pulled Abby through, and she survived, but she thrived. Abby now weighs over 10 pounds. And she has the most gorgeous smile you've ever seen. And yes, her parents and her grandparents, there's disappointment. This isn't what they expected. This isn't what they wished and hoped for. They spent six months with Abby being in the NICU. Abby hasn't met most of her family. She got to meet one of her grandmothers for the first time a couple weeks ago. Can you imagine being just miles from your first grandchild and having to wait five and a half months to see them for the first time in person? But even though all of this unexpected trauma has happened, even though parents and grandparents have had to have been struggling with doubts, uncertainty, anger, dismay, wondering the natural question, why? Why is this happening to us? And the disappointment of not being able to fulfill all those dreams that you had for this child the way you dreamed them. But let me tell you something. Grace may not have come to this family in the expected manner of a newborn baby. But they have gotten something much better. They have gotten unexpected grace, unexpected joy, in the most unlikely of circumstances. Because Abby, her 
what Grandma tells me. When she looks at you, you know you're looking into the face of God. You know you're looking into the eyes of grace. You know you're looking into the eyes of a fighter. And you know you're being loved as much as you are loving. Abby may be small. Abby may have had a lot of hurdles to overcome and she's got a lot more to go. But let me tell you something. The unexpected grace that has come through this child is amazing. Friday, Abby will have a surgery. She is finally on the road to going home. Hopefully within the next month or two, Abby will go home. But she won't go home as expected. They will put a trach in her throat and the ventilator will be hooked up and she will go home on a ventilator. A feeding tube will be inserted on Friday as well. So when Abby goes home, Parents and grandparents will take turns keeping eyes on her 24-7 because if that trach and that tube gets clogged, it's not a minor inconvenience. It could be fatal. So they won't be, they won't be doing all the things they thought they would with Abby. They're going to be doing medically necessary things to care for her, things they never dreamed they'd ever be doing. But in the midst of all of that, they are going to have a blessing beyond compare. They are going to experience a relationship with a child that most of us never get to experience. Let's face it, as much as we love our children and our grandchildren, there are some things we just take for granted when they're healthy. This family isn't. They don't take anything for granted. Every day that they have her is a miracle. Every day that they have her is grace. And Abby fights. They were recently drawing blood gases from Abby's little arm with a needle that was rather large compared to her, the size of her little arm. And she gritted her way through it. She probably took it much better than I would have, especially considering how many times that child's been poked and prodded in the six months she's been alive. But here's what I want you to do, if you would, please. I would like you to join us in praying for Abby and her family. And I would like you to join us in celebrating with her family the tremendous gift that God has given them, the grace that they are being shown, the lessons that they are going to learn from this little girl, this little Muhammad Ali who is going to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee because that's just who she is. And every time they look into her eyes, they're going to know they're looking into the face of God. And he's going to be smiling back at them through her eyes. And then after you join us in praying for her and her family as they prepare to bring this bundle of joy home, I'd like you to take a look at your own life. Look at your trials, your tribulations, and your struggles. And look for the unexpected grace. You see, we see what we look for. Until I got my dog, I didn't even know Cavapoos existed. Now that I have a Cavapoo, I see them everywhere. The same way with my car. Until I bought a Kia, I, I never noticed Kias. Now I see them everywhere. We notice what we look for. It's easy to see grace in the middle of triumphs and successes and the pleasantries 
and the blessings of life. But it's in the midst of the tragedies and the sorrows that come the most unexpected, amazing graces. So take a look around. You may not have a baby Abby in your life, but you have grace just waiting for you to recognize it. Amen.